Hey guys. Alright, give me a minute. I'm trying to make sure I share everywhere. Hey, Sean. I am making sure I have everything. This part takes a minute. I'm still learning, so it takes me a minute to get going. Let me tag a few people. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Lolita. Did I say that right? I hope I said that right. I'm really sorry if I didn't. All right, let me tag. Um, usually, Gary would kind of run through and do some of this for me. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Trisha. Um, but he is at football with one of the boys. So, um, making it work. Um, what, buddy? Um, I want to go on the front of the mountain. Okay, you're going to have to wait then. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Hi, hope everyone's having a good day. Give me one minute. I'm trying to make sure I tag everyone, um, get this posted where we need to. Um, what am I missing right here? I can't think right now. Hey Kim, I'm really excited about today's live. This is um this is gonna be a fun one. I saw the sticky sheet from Mr. Knowles Glitter and the second I did, hi Beverly, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. So um, if this comes out how I'm hoping, it's gonna be great and if not, I might cry. <laughs> not cry, but I will, um, won't be too happy. Uh, it just, you know those times when you know exactly what you want it to look like? That's kind of what I'm going for. Madden, is that all right? That's alright. Oh no. That's right, you can wait for Madden. Hi Jennifer. Thanks guys for coming to hang out. Like I said, just give me one minute. I'm trying to share it to the NOLA groups super quick. I need a day where I just practice how to do this. All right, if you don't mind, let me know which group you're watching this from so I know um, know where I have it. Hi, Susan. How are you doing, girl? It's always so funny how this um, computer decides what you're gonna look like whenever they give the um, on Sipka tour. Okay, great, good. That one's working. Um, how they do like the caption of what your picture is gonna look like? <laughs> Cause my they always get a rough one for me. Okay, I'm sharing this in the Mr. Knowles Glitter group and. I need to find out if we can see it from there. We're gonna um, go through a few fun things today, hopefully. Like I said, hopefully it all goes as planned. Um, I even had my mom, thank goodness, my mom is um, just awesome. Like anytime I need something, she'll go, she'll she'll do it. <laughs> and I needed, I. At the last minute, I decided to see about maybe doing a topper. So I grabbed, um, I didn't have any molding clay. Um, my Amazon order didn't come in today like I was hoping. So uh, she had some stuff she went to go run and get. Hi Brenda, how are you doing? Hey Jessica. The storm over here by me or by someone else? We had so much lightning yesterday, it was crazy. 
All right. Is anyone in here watching from the Mr. Nola Glitter Group? I need to make sure we have that in there. It was. Yeah, Beverly, you're not you're close to me too, right? Like I am right in Mandeville. The neighborhood that I'm in, we never get like it's I've always say this. It's a bubble. It's a bubble. We don't get the bad weather. You had it too, Susan? Um and last night we got the lightning. Okay. Well, I hope you guys are okay, Susan. All right, if you don't mind, guys, just let me know. Yeah, false. Up. Okay, yeah, you guys get it bad. See, I think that we're just so close to the lake that, um, I don't know, the lake must calm it down or something because we never get it, never get it too bad. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so look how fun this tumbler is that we're going to be doing. Um, this is not the end result. This is about the halfway point. Um, okay, so it's not on the NOLA group. All right, let me see. Let me see if it was shared there. I want to make sure. I know ours was flooded. Um, I want to make sure it's posted in there because I know that um, starting this a little different and going on the group, um, it ends up going a little different. That's so weird. Why did it do that? Okay. I think maybe I need to do this. Oh, I think what it did was it copied the wrong thing. Hi, Sandra. Sandra, what group are you watching from? Group or page? See, Angie's so good at sharing this. I um probably should have asked her. Because she's so quick. She's like, can you share this? And she's like, done. Let's see if that goes. Okay, I think that's it. I think I have that shared now. All right, I'm gonna give it some time, make sure people jump on. Um, like I said, this one, I know that last time after I did the live, it went kind of quick and a few people were like, I missed it. So <laughs> I wanna make sure I don't do that to anyone again. I felt so bad. And then I know that, um, oh, tonight's coupon code. So the, um, thank you, thank you, Jennifer. So for tonight, we have um, a coupon code for this pack. This pack will include, and I had it pulled up, let me pull it up real quick. I am fighting through this headache, man. Usually I'm pretty good, and today I just, one of those nonstop days. Now that I want it, I can't find it. I don't see it now. Oh no, let me search it. Okay, I don't see it. There it is. Okay, Wednesday night with Teresa, perfect. Okay, so in this pack, um, included in this pack, all right guys, I'm gonna have to show you half the sticky sheet. <laughs> Because I made the tumbler and this was half of it. So um, what is going to be included in this pack is going to be a full sticky sheet. <laughs> this is just half. Um, a full sticky sheet, um, some faux sprinkles, wisteria, skull cap, um, and past, um, yeah, I was about to say pastel goth treats. The name of the sticky sheet is pastel goth sheets and these faux sprinkles. Um, it's also gonna have a piece of purple paper, um, purple vinyl. That purple vinyl is what we're gonna use because we're gonna make this guy. We're gonna make our tumbler look like this guy. So that purple vinyl is what you will use for his eyes and nose. I have this, um, I have this on my Sippy Couture community Facebook group. I'm not sure how to share it into, um, if I'll ask Rachel, um, if I can share it into the Mr. Nola Glitter Group, but if you're gonna look for the file for his little eyes and nose, I have that saved in Sippy Couture Community. It's going to be um, under, 
what did I put it under? Um, under the files, I think it is, in the file section. And it's just a little cut, cut, cut file oh, for the eyes and nose, and that's what that purple vinyl is gonna be for. The code for all of this tonight, this code is gonna be good for um, until I believe it's Saturday. I'll double check that. Um, and the code for tonight is SIPPY and today's date. So S-I-P-P-I-E 831. Um, pretty easy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. Um, oh, what is not included in that while I'm, while I'm thinking of this, what's not included is this little road we told. Y'all, look what I did. I got a box. <laughs> I put all my stuff in a box, which is um, a little much for me to dig through, I'm realizing now. Um, but it's better than it laying all over the place and me thinking I left stuff, so I'm slowly getting better. But I went ahead and brought everything kind of um, closer to me. Hopefully I have it all and I'm not completely losing my mind. But I have everything like measured out. All right. We're going to go ahead and um, probably start with this little tool. Does anyone have this rotary cutting tool from Mr. Newell's Glitter? They sent it in one of the um, Muse boxes. Nope. In one of the Wonderlust boxes. Um, and it's funny because I saw this thing on TikTok. Um, yes, all of this is available on the website as a package. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to fix that. You're going to see how to work this thing tonight. I use this tool so much. It is insane. Um, what I use it for the most is at my baseball designs. Uh, I have some stitching that I use and it's on um, some tape. It's like the white, the clear baseball tape. Let me get it. It's always easier for me to just show you guys. So I have it on this white baseball tape. I'll have Jack grab me a piece of parchment paper. Um, and I trim this down because if you try to lay this tape flat on a surface, it, um, it isn't the easiest to work with. But I found that if you trim kind of the edges down for this, you can get this really cool look to the tape and it blend right in. Look how cool that is. I love it. Hi, Cheryl. Okay, so the tool is called the Rotary Cutting Tool. Uh, like I said, the tool and the tacket that we're using tonight is not included in that package um, that you can get with all this tonight's supplies, but if you do put it in your cart, you can still get the discount for that. So use that discount code, guys. All right, we're going to... We're gonna go ahead and, um, and kind of aim this down so you can see how this works. Hey, Jack, yep. can you give me the parchment paper uh, under my, over by my glitter? Please. Yes, please. Yeah. This kid's awesome. <laughs> this kid's awesome. Hi, Denise. Um, it's over there. The part, like it's on the shelf. You see the shelf with the straws? You see the two boxes that look like that are sticking out? That look like the little food thing on it? You know where I sit to tape my boxes up? When I sit on the floor when I'm packing stuff? Okay, walk over there. And it's on the shelf. Okay, walk up to it. Go left. Oh, that's right, the other way. Yes, okay, now reach. Give me one of those skinny boxes. No, on the shelf, on the open shelf. Okay, I might have to go get this. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I know, don't tell him that, he'll get ideas. He'll get ideas and I'll totally be like, hey, mom. Okay. I um, get a little piece out of here so I can show you. Or a big piece. All right. Oh, happy birthday. Who did I miss? Whose birthday is it? I see catching the live. I see I have to scroll. Hi from North Carolina. Hi. Um, hi from just outside of New Orleans. All right, let me get some stuff moved out of the way. I think I can just move this. Um, like I said, the file that we're using for the little face, um, I have that file listed in um, on the Civic Store community page and um, as well as the size is listed on there. So make sure you get that cut size too. Um, and that, I'll, that is gonna be for the 32 ounce. All right, so few things I tried to keep myself I should have like really sat here and went through everything all right so this is a rotary tool from Mr. Nola's glitter um, it's called the rotary cutting tool it's available on their website and you can get it tonight with the discount what it is is it's just like a razor that is on a swivel this thing is easy guys this is a lot easier than um, 
<laughs> than people really think. The one thing that I found out about it is whenever you go to use it, hold it like this, kind of like a pencil, and have this blade pointing away from you, right? So have it pointing away from you. And what you're gonna do is just go like you're drawing and you can just wiggle, just wiggle your hand a little and it will give a little, um, it'll cut it. So what I'll do um, is I'll show you really quick. We can do a square, just go, we'll roll up a really bad square. Let me try that again. You just move your hand like you're writing with a pencil and it will cut. It's super, super easy. If you want to do like a heart, like I said, just like you're writing with a pencil, just make sure your blade goes right back into that spot. Obviously, I'm not good at freehand. My husband says I have the worst handwriting ever, and um, cutting it is going to be even funkier. Look how cute that little heart is. Look how easy that is. So that's all you do. You just take it, and you just drag it along like this. The more you kind of let it flow, the easier it is. If you really try to, like, jerk it up and down, it's not going to go so smooth. So mainly your thing is to just kind of wave, like you're drawing waves. And that will cut out whatever shape you want. I didn't cut too close to that front line. I um, will at some point probably have to figure out how to sharpen this blade because when I tell you I use it a lot. I'll go like that. I know that cut through. But that's it. You just take your arm and kind of, or your hand, and just like you're holding a pencil. And just kind of wiggle it back and forth. The coolest thing ever. One of the things I really, really like about this, look at that, just came right off. It is so, so cool. So this is when I saw it and I was like, that is a game changer. Like that is exciting. This is called the Rotary Cutting Tool. It's on Mr. Nola's Glitter's website. Okay, this is one of the things I saw that really, really got me excited. Let me see. I might have to burn a decal for this. I really don't want to. Okay. Grab one of these leopard spots. All right, this is kind of small, but let's see if I can still show you guys. All right, so let's say we have a decal. Um, you know, like a sticky sheet. If we have a sticky sheet and if we want to offset it, um, obviously the sticky sheet is cut, you know, on, um, with the vinyl and everything, not vinyl, the sticky sheet is cut, printed over at Nola's. We get that and it's the one image. If you want to kind of give it an offset, all you have to do is put it on some vinyl and kind of trace around. I'm going to try to trace around this tiny little spot. I don't know where my bigger ones are. And I'll just kind of show you. The code for tonight is SIPPY, S-I-P-P-I-E, 81, nope. 831. Sippy in today's date. S I P P I E 831. So, what we'll do is just take it. You can do kind of a rough little sketch around it. And just like that, you offset without having to run through Cricut or without having to figure out what did you just offset that shape. See how easy that is? And I love that because every once in a while I'll get a sticky sheet and I'm like, oh man, I want it to have, like I don't want just a sheet, like it needs it needs some space. It needs to be on white, you know, like a white, um, white spot, like a paint spot or something. But you can grab one of these and just trim it out. Let me see if I can grab another one real quick. Okay, I'll show you with this flower. And then we're going to give this thing an offset. We'll grab a vinyl. Okay. 
let's say. We'll grab dip where it doesn't. So difficult to look at. against us blue. Hey, thanks for coming to hang out, guys. All right, so let's say we have this sticky sheet. Oh my goodness, those man cups, huh? I'm gonna have to see it. Like, I definitely feel like I need to see how that looks. All right, we're gonna trim this out and we'll go a little closer. That way I don't have to go so far off. Oh, almost cut that. All right, we have this trimmed out and this is how about the same thing you would do if you want to create an offset. So we're gonna put this on here finally got my little vinyl scraper. <laughs> I kept saying that I had a cloth one and I never got it out in every single live. I'm like, man, I wish I had that. Finally have it. All right. So what you would do is the same thing. You're going to hold it um, with a blade facing away. Start that blade facing away from you and then just glide. The easier you kind of move your hand, the better it's going to come out. If, like I said, if you go all jerky with your hand, it's going to come out a little more funky. So just like really gently um, kind of glide your hand in kind of like a wavy type motion. Exactly like using a pencil, guys. And just like that, you can offset whatever your sticky sheet is. Look how pretty that is. Hi, Tracy. It is a game changer. I'm obsessed. I'm right here like, I hope I'm not the only one obsessed by it because I love this thing. Like, I absolutely love this thing. We're actually gonna use it on the tumbler today. We're gonna um, wrap the sticky sheet and we're gonna use this thing on the tumbler and get rid of all these little pieces. All right, any questions with this little cutting tool and how to use it? Like I said, that's available on Mr. Nola's website um, and you can get it with the code. If I can get all this stuff off. I know, I'm right here like, what am I gonna do when it goes dull? Cause I use it a lot. I love that we can like offset like little leopard prints. How fun, huh? All right, put this aside. I didn't even need that parchment paper I had Jack go get. Okay, so that's that cup edging tool. Oh my goodness, Kat, you are so funny. I went slow, I think I went slow. Okay, so we're gonna have our sheet and we're gonna start wrapping this. What we're gonna do, let me put this away before I hurt something. I have my edges trimmed off. When I wrapped this tumbler, um, I had, I kept the top and the bottom. So I went, a one-on-one -on -one class. Just let me know. Come over when you want. We'll figure it out. Um, so I went ahead and I wrapped this and this was the extra part that was left over. I went ahead and trimmed off the other parts on the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to figure out where we're lining this up at. Let me trim that top a little more. Let's make it easier for you guys to see. I actually had two of these sheets, but when I was making the first tumbler, um, I didn't like the way something came out. So had to take it off and I tried so hard to save it but it didn't work all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this around we're gonna trim it up and then we're gonna take our rotary cutting tool and we're going to make our little um, our little drips and then we're gonna glitter where those drips are I went ahead and sanded this tumbler and I spray painted it blue um, I believe this color is seaside that way it um, it kind of it already has a color because I didn't want to have to go and try to base paint it after that. Keep the cap. Oh no, did you lose it? I think I would cry. I I'm telling you, I love this tool. It's so easy. And it's one of those things where if you 
kind of turn your hand all jerky with it. It goes weird, but if you're just gently gliding it, it's perfect. Um, I have to see where this guy is going to be. I um, probably should have just ran across like got another sheet because I don't want to cut him off. And that's what I did with this one. I was able to scoot the drip down some because this whole cup is based off of this guy. So I wanted him to be on here. So I was able to keep a few of them um, kind of ran into the seam right there. This is not, um, you cannot see through this sticky sheet. Like how it is right here is exactly how it's going to look. Um, oh no, are you okay? All right, so this is what we're going to do. To find out, where's my pencil? To find out how this needs to be trimmed so that um, it's easier to line up on the bottom, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tumbler, I'm going to set it down on the table, wrap this around, give myself just a little overlap, and then I usually just trim off, like cut it in a circle, and that will tell me how that curve needs to go so that the bottom of my um, paper um, the bottom of my vinyl is now kind of tapered to fit my tumbler. Trim that off. And now that should fit perfect. All right. A little extra, but we can go ahead and trim that off when it's time. Perfect. All right, I need my tape. Everything that I grabbed and I didn't grab the tape. Okay, sorry, hold on, let me run. All right, so I have this. Hey, Nisi. I need a better way to see comments because I can't quite see them too great like this. All right, so I have this part that's going to be the top i'm going to undo this one first so i'm going to start off and kind of tape this where i want it tape it down so this is a part that's always um always difficult definitely one of those things i see other people do and i'm like how is that so easy how do they do that so fast all right Hi there. The link to the face is on my Sippy Couture community page. Um, I didn't, it's under the file section. I wasn't sure how I could post that um, in this group. Um, I will find a way to share it in this group somehow. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I cut off that little bit just to get me started so I know where it lays. I'm gonna start laying that down, but I'm also gonna take up this other piece of tape. It was just to kind of keep everything in place. So I know where that has to wrap. And now we're just going to slide this off. We're going to go a little at a time, just roll it and just continue to wrap it and flatten it out. You don't really have to um, smush up the top right here. You don't have to put this in. Thank you so much, Jess. You don't have to um, kind of crush this in too much because you do want, um, we're going to trim that off, but this bottom part, we definitely want to make sure we kind of don't have that many bubbles in there. So we're going to go through, smooth it down as we go. We'll let it overlap so we can trim that off. Yes. It's, um, I think that's the, that is the only file we have on the Sippy Couture community page. Um, and like when you go up to the top at how it has like albums and media and all that stuff, there's one section that says file, so it's right in there. All right, we're gonna see if I can cut a straight line. Sometimes it's great, um, lately it hasn't been. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Or I can do the tape trick, I'll do that. So I'm gonna put this tape on the line so I can tell where that is, which is definitely gonna be the better bet because these shadows tonight. I'm 
gonna let it overlap just a little because I'd rather have a tiny bit of overlap than cut it too short and have that vinyl um, you know, not really match up. So I have this down and I'm gonna take my knife, my blade, and I'm gonna trim this straight down. Just go right along this tape line. I'm like not doing a straight line today. Goodness. That was like <laughs> so not a good line. All right, then we're going to peel this off. Yay, you can't even tell. Okay. And then we're going to take our cup edging tool. Let me put the blade on this, I mean the cover on this. tape off my arm. All right, so now what we're going to do is we have our cup edging tool. This is from Wicked Shimmer. I love this thing. I use it on every single tumbler I make. Um, I don't do the bottom of my tumblers anymore. What I do is I trim off the bottom. Um, I'll show you in one second. I trim off the bottom and then every next layer of epoxy, um, I bring it just over the edge of this tumbler. Um, and it's not even it's not even right there. It's just like it goes just over the edge. It seals everything back in really, really nice. And then on the middle part right here, I put a one inch sticker that says um, Sippy Couture with all of my, um, the care instructions on the bottom. What's cheating with the tape? I have to cheat. I have to cheat for that. You know how bad it would be. All right, so I have this on the lowest setting. Um, I, uh, meaning that there aren't any washers under it. You can adjust the height of this based on how many washers you put under it. Whenever I do the bottom of my tumblers, I don't put any washers under it. I just do the black piece and then I take a paring knife and I wedge it between the blade and the, bla and the black piece at the bottom. Um, I find that the times I don't do this, I'm aggressive guys. Like I'm aggressive and I push too hard and my blade will like go all wonky. So I put a paring knife in there and it just gives me a little more stability so that my blade doesn't kind of cave all over the place. So I'm gonna put my cup on here and just rotate it in a circle. I'm gonna go around a few times just to make sure it all cuts even. And then from there, I can go ahead and pull off what was cut. This cup edging tool will cut through um, sticky sheets, vinyl, glitter, epoxy, fabric. It's amazing. Uh, whenever you get it, they send extra blades, so it's perfect. Um, it's per I mean, I've had this thing. Had this thing forever. Use it every single day, and it's still perfect. All right, so here's the fun part. We're going to take our little rotary cutting tool and we're gonna trim out little drips. Unfortunately, some of this guy's gonna to have to go. Oh man, and I'm gonna to have to try to figure out how to go around him because I want him on there. Um, and this is where if I had another sticky sheet, I would have sectioned this whole thing down a little more. That way they could have been kind of in the middle and you can see them still, you know, hanging out. All right, so we're gonna take the blade off of this, move everything up from under my arm. We're gonna start where this seam is. Um, man, I hate cutting this guy. I hate cutting this guy, but I don't really have a choice. All right, so start again with your blade pointing away from you. Again, this is the rotary tool for Mr. Nola's glitter. You hold it just like a pencil, and when you're dragging it, just wiggle your arm back and it will slice out um, whatever you're trying to cut. So we're gonna start right here, and we're gonna give ourselves a little drip. It's okay if you cut it um, too short because we can make it longer but you can't go back and make it shorter. So keep that in mind when you're going. And we're just gonna go up and down and make little drips. We're gonna alternate and make some kind of short and some longer. The only thing I'll tell you to really be careful of, um, and it's a little tricky since my sticky sheet is kind of uh, sideways on my cup, is that uh, make sure your drips are kind of going straight down. Like I said, we can go back and fix them. If any of them don't look right, we can definitely go back and fix them. Oh, I'm gonna try to cut this so I don't have to cut this guy too much. Sorry. All right, go back. I know it's hard to see right here, but you'll be able to see it. I think that drip is a little sideways, so we'll definitely have to fix that one. 
and I'm kind of, like I said, alternating, I'm going some longer, some shorter. Oh, it matched perfect, I think. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, it didn't. All right, let's see how we did, and then we can always go back and fix it. Look at this. Isn't that so awesome? And you just cut a little drip into your design. Look how awesome that is. We just took the little drip out. If you're not comfortable doing it this way, you can always get a little drip and run this through your Cricut, run the, um, the sticky sheet through your Cricut and have it that way. So now we're gonna kind of look at how it is and we're gonna fix the drips we don't like. We're gonna make this one longer, um, fix, it goes to a point right there, so we're gonna fix that, and we're gonna go through and kind of refine how some of these drips are. I don't wanna mess with them too much because I kind of like the way that they are. Um, I'm just gonna fix a few that are, like right here, kind of, uh, they cut in the middle of each other. Thanks. But this is a really fun way to go ahead and give um, a little more fun to your tumbler. Need my blade back. One spot right there. I'm going to make this one longer. So take your blade again, have it pointing away from you, and just bring it down. All right, and then I'm gonna look at them and see what else. This one, I don't wanna trim this one. I mean, this one goes really close to this guy's um, face, and I don't wanna trim that out. I really wish he was lower. This is from Mr. Nola's Glitter. It's called the Rotary Cutting Tool. Um, and I do have a co coupon code for um, the box that we're working on tonight, the um, little pack that's on their site, and this. And the code is, um, I need to fix this and that looks weird. Uh, the code is SIPPY831, S-I-P-P-I-E-831. And this is called the Rotary Cutting Tool. But you just take it, make sure the blade's pointing away from you and just drag it down. Kind of reshape that one a little. It The way that it fell, it made like a straight line going down. It made that um, snow cone kind of go straight and I don't want that. Oh, I hate that I have to take him away. <laughs> okay, let's make this one go down a little more. Point it away from you. I'm just gonna kind of expand the outer ring of that gap, of that um, little thing. Sippy 831, S-I-P-P-I-E 831, it's today's date. I need to make it go out a little. I'm not the best at free handing, like was not <laughs> my plans. The code is good for um, everything in this in the box for tonight. If you go to their website, you'll see um, one spot right here that's not cooperating. If you go to their website, um, and if you just type in Teresa, it should, T-E-R-E-S-A, it should pop up with the name of the, um, the pack is called Wednesday Night with Teresa 831.22. If you just type in Wednesday, it should pop up. It'll bring you to the ones that I do on Wednesdays and just pick the one that's tonight's, um, this is stuck on me, <laughs> um, S-I-P-P-I-E, S-I-P-P-I-E, not E-E, S-I-P-P-I-E. All right, so we're gonna go through here. I don't know why I spelled it like that. I was playing off of an old name that I did and I realized people are like, you can't spell. All right, I'm gonna cover these up and then we're gonna get our tacket and skull cap. Skull cap is this really pretty, um, really pretty blue, a light blue. 
uh, and it has some flashes of silver in it. It's gorgeous. Um, this is on a darker base though. Uh, the spray paint that I was using, I grabbed it and then it went crazy. So I had to grab a lighter color, which I actually like the lighter color, so I don't mind it. Let me get my paper. Yes, that code is good for everything in the pack. Hey, Alicia. Oh, you're good. You're a fine girl. This is a fun one. Um, we're going to have it look like this little guy. We're going to have it look just like this little guy. The bottom is going to be that. Oh, um, not also not the pack. I had some um, <laughs> on my glove when I was epoxying some other cups. I went to go do this one too. And I forgot that I had some Magnolia Opal. Um, that I just rubbed into a tumbler. So when I went to go put the epoxy on here, some got on here and I was like, all right, well, we'll we're keeping that now. So um, there's a little Magnolia Opal um, worked into this top layer of the tumbler. Um, not by design, but that's what it is. The code is good for everything that I'm using in the live. So it's good for um, the puff paint, the sprinkles, two glitters, the purple sticky sheet, I'm sorry, purple vinyl that we're gonna use for his eyes and it's good for um, the sticky sheet. All right, let me get my paint brushes. And we're gonna do tacket. We are not doing tacket method. We're not gonna rub the tacket in. Hi, Sherry. We're not gonna rub the tacket in. Um, this glitter isn't, um, I don't like the way it looks, tack it, so we're not going to rub it in that way. Um, we're just going to drop it on and then use that. Um, we're going to adhere it with this. I was going to do Mod Podge, but Mod Podge takes way too long um, for me to work with on a live. Um, and not too long. It dries. It dries so fast that I didn't want to have to fight with that. I'm scared to use this right now. I went to go use this yesterday, and I squeezed it, and obviously my lid wasn't on enough because it blew up like... It went everywhere. I can see where it's clogged up. All right. Let me try that. Oh, before I forget, I have my um my bag. Where is it? I have my little anti-static bag that I use for everything. I'm gonna wipe this down right now. This anti-static bag or anti-static pouch, depending on where you get it from. Um, I got uh, Amazon Hobby Lobby Michaels. It has just some powder in it. Um, I always rub down my sheet of paper and um, I rub down my tumbler before I do any type of glitter that I don't want to spread. And what it will do is it's easy to kind of wipe that off. The glitter won't get stuck to the paper. Um, or to these, this bottom part of the tumbler, it will brush off a lot easier. You're good, Angie. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, let me move this paper real quick. We're gonna brush this around. The thing that I like using um, Tacket so much for is that the way that it, it, as it dries, it gets tacky, so you don't have to rush your way through it. Um, you could really take your time get it everywhere and then get your uh, glitter down. If you're using Mod Podge, you have to go in sections. And I don't like the way Mod Podge for me leaves streaks. I'm sure it's because my brushes are horrible. Like, I know, it's because I use really nasty brushes for Mod Podge. I should do something thinner and better. Um, I don't have any. So, <laughs> so that's why I don't. But I'm gonna go through this little spot and then I'll work on, I'll get my thinner paintbrush and then really go in there. And we're just using this as a glue. Um, like I said, not doing tack it. All right, and then I have this one. I'm gonna go through in here. I did do one where I um, epoxied my tumbler ahead of time like a epoxy method with the blue and then I was and I have it pulled I have it set aside and I was going to do that um and then I wouldn't have to glitter at all around this but then when I started thinking about it I had the whole bottom that I just wasted that blue um you don't add the tool to the box just add it to your cart um but then I was like man I'm wasting so much glitter on something that you can't even see it's covered up like it'd be different if this was a clear sheet but it isn't 
So I was like, I don't want to waste all that glitter. So I have that set aside. So now I have a blue tumbler I need to come up with a design for. Go through here. And then the other way I tried, I tried putting um, packing tape. This is where I messed up the other one. I tried putting packing tape um, along the line, like a over this before I cut it. Um, not packing tape, painter's tape. I put it over the sticky sheet when I went to go cut it. That way I could just go aggressive and be messy with this and just paint on that. It would still come up, but it was so hard to cut through that tape. Um, it didn't quite go as planned. Ton of good ideas didn't go as planned. All right, so get this in. Hey, Jack. Can you bring me a super small cup of water? Can you bring me like a small cup of water, please? Like not a lot. A drop? Well, a little more than a drop. All right, I have a few spots where this tacket is starting to dry up. So what I've been doing lately, um, and it's been working out pretty good, is that I dip my paintbrush in just a little bit of water and it's enough to kind of, um, give it a little more life. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, it'll give it a little more life and I'm able to, um, to work with it a little longer. Good idea. Thank you. No, but you can go shower. Um, what time is it? Yes. You have a little more time if you shower fast. Negotiate. I'm not the only one that negotiates with our kids, right? All right, so I'm going to wipe this through, make sure I have it. I'm going to add a little water to the top. Oh, I'll tell him you said hi when he comes back. Hey, Mace. The game's over already? Yeah. Goodness. That was a quick football game. Ooh, ouch. All right, all of my people are gonna start coming home soon. Um, so sorry. <laughs> just, I know, just a drop. He's funny. He's so um, uh, literal. He is so little about things. It's funny. All right, I'm gonna wipe this through. I have this top that's getting funky. All right, I have my heat gun right here, so I'm going to throw some heat gun on this just to dry it real quick. Um, I'll check later. Okay, so we have that on. He's funny. I know, he is so funny. I'm going to have to tell you all he said hi. He does. He understands all the excitement. He, excitement. He's a mess. All right, so I have my heat gun. I'm just gonna hit this a little to encourage this uh, tacket to dry. And like I said, the thing with this tacket is that as it dries, um, it gets tacky. It gets to where it will work. Hey, Dawn. And then we're gonna go ahead and drop skull cap on there. I can't quite explain how excited I am about this design. Um, I'm not a Halloween person. Y'all are tired of hearing me say that. So when I come across a design that I could do that's super cute and it still gets that little Halloween job done, like, I don't know, um, that part excites me. And the minute I saw Rachel with the sheet, I was like, in fact, she was, um, she was, I think she was working with it on a live. And I was like, please do a drip. <laughs> like, please do a skull drip. Please tell me you're going to make that guy match all right I will have to use this one so then I have that on and I will brush through these little sections and just clean it up I'm gonna be careful not to touch the actual glitter that the Mod Podge is on um, if you do it will start to lay some of that down and I don't want to lay it down I don't want it to be tack it method I just want it to be um, set in place and this was an easy way for me to be able to show you take a time 
um, and really get it on there good. Thanks. I'm telling you, I'm excited. Like the fact that I might even be able to, um, that I'm considering making a topper. Cause at one point I was like, I'm not doing toppers. I can't, I don't, I can't not doing it. Um, and then I went and bought clay or <laughs> I bought clay. My mom ran to the store to go get some clay it is pretty funny. I'm sure my people will be like, what are you doing? Who are you? I even have a little cherry because this guy has a little cherry on the top. So we even have a little cherry for the top of it. Um, but I've never used the clay before. Uh, so it should be fun. All right. So you're going to go through, brush this up. Um, the other good thing about Mod Podge is that um, you can take a baby wipe and you can actually go through and kind of scrape it off and get rid of it. So if you went over a little and it is on your tumbler, um, you can get a baby wipe, even your fingernail, and just kind of scrape and loosen it up. Um, it does dry clear, so you won't have a problem um, staining uh, or kind of discoloring your sticky sheet. And I will, um, won't show you that whole part, but so that is how the decal and the glitter is done. So what I would do, um, I'm not gonna do this now, but I'll set this aside. But what I would do is clean up this bottom really, really good, make sure all of that loose glitter is off the tumbler. Um, I would knock all the loose, other loose glitter off, make sure that's not on there. Once it's all cleaned up um, and they don't have any loose glitter and all of my edges are super clean, then I'll take it outside and hit it with spray paint, clear spray paint. Um, I saw some of those cups you did. Did you, was that yours that you posted today? I think you did. I think I saw them, they looked really cute. Um, so I will hit this with clear spray paint. It doesn't matter if it's matte or glossy, but you can see how um, the glitter is just wiping off of this sticky sheet. And like I said, every time um, I go to drop glitter on something and I need to keep another part clean, I use these little anti-static pouches and I just wipe my tumbler off um, and the stuff doesn't stick to it. So there we go, how easy was that? Set that aside, clean up this mess, and we're gonna bring in the other tumbler. You can definitely see, I'll show you real quick. Let me put this. You can definitely see the difference in color with the um with the spray paint that I used. I think this was like Oasis Blue and this was Seaside or vice versa. Um, I'll let y'all know for sure. Actually, I think this was Oasis and this was Seaside. Um, Come out a little darker, but that's all right. But look how pretty. All right, so what we have here is, these, are, these brushes are gonna be fun to work with tomorrow because I'm not gonna go clean them right now. Get my sharp stuff put away. Um, I was gonna ask if anyone's following along, but I guess that isn't really an option. There's a few different sticky sheets out right now that have, um, a little drip to it like there's the donut one with a drip there's a ton of them out so you can definitely use this design for more than one sheet um, you know this little drip thing anything with that little drip just super cute I, I'll see I'll be excited to see how the darker one comes out once I get everything on it all right so what I have all right I gave y'all the good stuff I told y'all about that purple chrome vinyl um, and I didn't have any here I'm using Cricut using Cricut Glitter Vinyl. Ugh, not a fan of this stuff. Um, but we're gonna use this just to get it on there. So what I'm doing is I'm putting, I don't want the front of this to be the seam. So I'm gonna put on my lid, um, I'm gonna put my lid on backwards. And on the lids, there's a little seam right here that tells you the middle of their tumbler, where the middle of the, um, the tumbler, the lid was made. I'm gonna line that up with my seam that way I know where the back of my tumbler is. That way the front of it, it's easier to find with this, with this little spot poking up. I'm gonna follow this on where to put my face rather than try to find the middle spot with the lid. So anytime I'm doing a front and back tumbler or I need to put something on the reverse side, I use my lid as a guide. Um, they're perfectly made in half. Like when you look at your lid, you'll see where it's made. So we're gonna put the lid on. It's perfect at the back. The front is lined up to the back, so I'm gonna turn it over, and right here is where we're gonna put this guy's face. Oh, I can't wait to see it. You're, you're saying that, you're gonna to have to show me. Okay, 
Um, and like I said, I made this file. I just, to me, the guy's face looked like those um, not quite aviators. So I found some sunglasses and this is just how I did the face. To me, when I looked at it, it looked, let me get you a better one. To me, it kind of looked like, sorry about the finger. <laughs> um, it looked not quite like aviators, you know, like a little more square on the bottom. I don't know the shape, but it looked like that. The nose looked like a heart, um, like a little upside down heart. So what I did was I found some sunglasses um, and a sunglass SVG that was really close to that same shape. I loaded that in and then I just took a heart upside down and, um, and I stretched it out a little because I it's kind of the vibe that I was getting from his face. So we're going to do that. Hopefully this will work, co cooperate. I'm using the strong grip. Um, this strong grip transfer tape and let's see if it actually does a job because this stuff y'all know that Cricut stuff right I did notice that it's made different though um the other Cricut glitter vinyl it didn't have that on the back it didn't have that um that surface on it so I noticed they changed it just um it was still not fun to cut. I had to crank it up to like cardstock to get it to cut. Then again, my blade is old. All right, so then we're gonna line him up directly on there. Sorry, no way for me to show that to you. See, look, I was so set on having that thing and now I'm not even gonna use it. That um, piece, I'm so used to being aggressive um, that I tried to use this piece and I felt like I wasn't getting anything accomplished. All right, we're gonna smush that in. it off and like I said the vinyl that I put with this kit is this um, pretty purple metallic um, so it, it will match perfect like it from what I've seen um, it should be a great great match for that little purple on there I didn't want to do a flat purple um, I want it to be a little more fun I've noticed with this Cricut vinyl I've used this Cricut glitter before and the times that I put epoxy over it it kind of, it lost the glitter. It definitely lost the glitter look to it. It kind of had like this metallic look to it. So I know that it's gonna somewhat look the same. Look how cute he is. I know that it's gonna somewhat look the same. And then we're gonna do our drip, guys. Um, I usually use a drip mold, so not even gonna lie, this will be my second time. Thanks. Okay, good night. Um, sorry, I'm dying over here. Uh, this will be my second time doing a drip with this. I usually use a drip mold and it's super, super easy. I like the way that works, um, but I really, I'm matching the purple on here and then we're going to have wisteria that we're gonna drop on it. So I'll do the same thing. Let me get this little rosin bag on my tumbler. That way I can easily wipe off all that glitter once it falls. And then we'll be able to dust it off. Uh, the drip mold is from Etsy. The anti-static pouch, they have the um, anti-static pouch. How do I want this to go real quick? All right, so looking at how he is, there's some parts where the um, drip covers his eyes, so I don't even need to worry about how long it drips. Like, it's totally cool if it runs long, and I kind of want it to. Um, the anti-static pouch, um, Amazon... I'm gonna try, I don't know how to show this to you guys. I don't know how to show this to you guys, I'm sorry. Um, hmm. Okay, well, you know what I'm doing, right? I'm trying to line a drip around. Let's see if that works, maybe. Um, so, um, Michaels and Hobby Lobby call it an anti-static bag. Last time I checked, Amazon has it as an anti-static pouch. It's by Ranger. I'm gonna make this thing kind of thick. I'm gonna go around. Um, when I did this the other day, I uh, tried out this glue. I don't know if I'm using too much, guys. Like, totally new. Don't know if I'm using too much. Don't know what it was, but it took forever to dry. Like, I wasn't too impressed with that. Um, I like moving quick, so the fact that I had to wait forever, like friggin' four hours, I thought that was a little crazy. Am I doing something wrong? 
I was definitely like, really, it takes that long? I was surprised. Like, I think I went back and I watched Megan's live um, probably three or four times to see about how she did this drip with this stuff because I really felt like I was doing something wrong. All right, we're going to get this on here. We can go back and add if we want. The good thing about this um, paint is that when I did it the other day, yes, it's puff paint. This is included in the pack if you get it from um, the pack with all the supplies for tonight's tumbler. This is included in that pack on um, Mr. Nola's website. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and expand some of these drops. If you can see, I made it sort of, it's like sort of thin and I want it thicker. So I'm gonna add a little more, bring some down, and then I'll also go back to make sure they're not even. And anybody here that's used puff paint, like what am I doing? Am I using too much? Cause I'm definitely a too much person. Wait a day for it to dry? Seriously? All right, well, that's crazy. I mean, I guess that leaves me like leaving it alone and not tinkering with it. So probably not a bad idea. All right, I'm gonna thunk it on the table. Sorry. I know the thing is to make sure that you don't tilt your tumbler because you don't want them you don't want these drips kind of running sideways I'm gonna see which ones I want a little thicker and add more this guy look how sideways that guy is he's gonna be like yup <laughs> okay good cuz I was like am I using too much I mean, I feel like I'm using a ton. All right, I'm gonna go through and see if I can straighten out some of these that went sideways. And I know some of these went longer than the um, than this little guy is. Like for the decal, they're not quite down touching the blue, but that's all right. this one to the end of his sunglasses sorry I don't know how to show you I'm gonna bring this one down a little lower okay there's a few that are sideways but that's okay this is my um my tester one so we can figure it out later thanks yay first drip done well second second drip done the first one was on that um that Halloween cup I did because like I said I always use um I always use uh what's it called the drip mold all right so we're gonna do sprinkles this little guy has sprinkles on him um I sure wish I had another sheet to show you but this little guy has like sprinkles on him so I'm gonna put the sprinkles on next that way they stay um they kind of stay where I need it and then we'll drop the glitter on. Um, and I don't know if I'm supposed to wait for the glitter to go on, but you know it. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, so I hope it definitely went sideways. Whoops. All right, these are faux sprinkles. These are also from Mr. Nola's Glitter. Um, these are the long sprinkles that I'm using. They have shorter sprinkles, but they had brown in it. And I don't know, I didn't like the brown. Um, so I went for the long ones. So we're gonna drop these on. Uh oh, my plan was sparingly, but that didn't go. Land a few inside the tumbler. Look how long that one is. <laughs> oh, oh no, there's two stuck together. How do I do this? How can I take that off of there? Um, emergency I need tweezers that's what I was thinking too I was gonna go for it when it was wet I was um my other worry was that 
if I do the, woo, that just shot out. If I do the um, glitter first, that maybe the sprinkles wouldn't really have anything to stick to. If the glitter takes that all, so I figured I'll do sprinkles first, and then I could always dust them off. And then um, drop a few more. It's funny because I'm like, it's, I don't know. I find this really funny that I'm doing this. Uh oh, I might actually, um, how can I get in some of these other pieces? I don't know. See, I can't just let, throw it on there. I can't just throw it on. Like there's a few I want in different places. All right, I'm going to be strategic for a minute. Put some of these down spots. Uh-oh. I need to. I'm like trying to drop it on this side, but I don't want the other side to like drip away. Look at, look at that little mess. Well, the good thing is that I have two of these being made, so this can be my test one. Um, if I'm not completely loving it. I have so many Halloween tumblers that I did this year. Thanks, Amy. I'm telling you, I was super, super excited about this. I am super excited about this. I'm at the point um, of the design where I'm like, uh-oh, is this gonna go as planned? Like, is this actually doing what I want it to do? I'm hoping it will. I mean, I think it's cute. All right, we're gonna go in with Wisteria. I don't have it all the way up to the top because what I do is that after this dries completely, um, I will do a coat of epoxy on it and then I'll take it outside with my Dremel and um, I will go around the top to kind of pull back some of that epoxy so that I get a really good, um, it adheres really good to the top. So I'm not worried about it being all the way up to the top right now. I'm going to see if I can do this pretty quick. Um, ooh, I guess it doesn't matter if it goes upside down, does it? All right, so we're gonna drop on Wisteria. Wisteria is really pretty. Um, it's really similar to the blue that we used. Um, it has purple, a lot of silver in it. It's fun. It's really, really fun. Hi, dude. Are these real sprinkles? No, they're not real sprinkles. They look real though, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Isn't that cool? Can you go turn on the light on the porch so Dad can see when he gets home, please? Yes. Look how cute he is. I'm happy with it. Yay. Okay, as of right now, I'm happy with it. <laughs> Let's see if I end up tinkering. Let me put this away. And then for the extra glitter that's on here right now, um, I'm not even going to... Hey, Jack. Yeah. People are saying hi. He showered, right? He just showered for school. Y'all heard him saying about that, and he put on his uniform. You, should, you can say hi real quick. Hi. So now I'm taking this and um, a little of the glitter, I'm just going to wipe a little of the glitter away between some of these. That way I can keep it um, even though it's not even that much. You know what? I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not, don't do that. Let's leave it alone because if not, I'm going to mess it up. But look how cute he is. I'm super, super happy with it. All right. We're going to try um, a topper. If you guys want to keep hanging out, um, I'm going to try a topper because I feel like uh, I feel like this little snow cone, like his head isn't flat. And to put on a regular lid, I don't know. I didn't feel right about that. So I'm going to try a topper um, and see how it goes. Can I have baby wipes. Um, what dessert. Can you give me the baby wipes from over there, the dry ones? No, sorry, the wet ones. Yep. Everyone saying hi, Jack. You already said hi. Okay, what do you think in dessert? What do you mean for dessert? Um, I hate that word. I hate the word dessert. Hmm. What do you think you want? Hurry, be quick. Okay, that's unnecessary. Hurry, Jack. Cereal? Cereal? No, if you're hungry, eat more dinner. Okay. Cereal is not dessert, Jack. Cereal is more food. If you're hungry, go eat more dinner. Okay. So this is, hey, hey. So this, I'm not going to make this right now on this lid because I want this to dry without messing it up. So we're going to set this aside 
and I will work on a topper for this guy. I have no idea how to do a topper. Like, no idea. I've never done a topper before. Take you off my face. Um, I've never done a topper before. <laughs> so it should be interesting. But um, two things I was thinking. I could either cut this ball in half and, um, and cover it, and that would be about the right size. Um, or, and y'all, this is how last minute I got. Um, I called my mom and I was like, uh, do you have any clay? And she brought over like this dry thing of molding clay and she was like, where do you want me to go? So she ran to the dollar store. These were at Dollar General. Um, this is something I'm trying. So I'm not set on this being like some big perfect design that I'm gonna be selling to someone magical. Um, I just wanna test this out. So if this works, great. If it doesn't work, okay. Um, I also don't have one of those things that everybody's using to put on there. So we're going to smush this bad boy into here and see what happens. He doesn't need cookies from Miss Cat. What, Jack? What else dessert can I have? Oh my goodness, Jack. What do you want? What do you want? A sandwich? I don't know. The food is still out. Go have more dinner. All right. So the thing about these packs is that there's like nothing in here. <laughs> They're tiny. You have? Good. Good, good. Because I was like, um, I told my mom, she was like, they have this. And I was like, anything. Like, whoa, grab anything. All right, good. So you're going to have to walk me through this. Oh, goodness. Guess it doesn't matter if I break it. Um, and I don't know how many I'm going to use. Um, there isn't a ton in each pack. Y'all, this might be rough. <laughs> This might be rough. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna see what we can do to make this work. I was smart enough to bring a straw over here. Um, I was smart enough to bring a straw. That way we can make sure that it fits right there. All right, let's see. You can't close the lid opening. That's okay. I've never, um, I don't drink out of them like that. And I always have a straw in it anyway. So it's okay. I don't have to. All can right. I, can I find what I want? What do you want? Well, if I don't need the, um, if I don't need it, can I take this off? Let's take this off. If I don't need to close the lid anyway, I don't need this thing in my way. Jack, Jack go find what you want, man. <gasps> I wish I had something dome. I wish I had something dome shaped to give me like, yeah, I am. And I have no idea what I'm doing, Sarah. I'm attempting to make it kind of that ice cream thing. And then I figured I can paint it purple and then put more, more down it. Oh, my straw. <laughs> I at least need to use a straw. And this stuff says that it will dry in place. So I figured, um, well, it dries like it, I don't know, it dries. So um, what is totally fine with me is that if this thing dries, and um and it's stuck on here that's fine uh if it dries and it comes off that's fine because i can stick it back on somewhere somehow all right that fits make it like a rope and swirl it girl that sounds um pretty fancy for me okay so i found what i want you know what maybe i'll just do it on this one i'll just do it on this one I know, I was thinking that too, because that would come out really perfectly symmetrical. I know what I want. What do you want, Jack? Can I have um, some hot chocolate with marshmallows? No. It's 9.30. It is too late for hot chocolate. I don't know. Oh, goodness. Um, oh, an ice cream scoop. I think that would come out too small, though. That's what I was thinking, shaping it over that so it would kind of, that's what my mom said too. She was like, do that and then don't, and then, um, what did Susan say? Sarah, Sarah said something. What'd you say, Sarah? You can make it like a rope and swirl it. Like a rope? I don't know how to make a rope. How do you want me to make a rope? Y'all are giving me too much credit. <laughs> Just. Heads up, y'all give me too much credit. 
All right, we're gonna put this on and see if we need another one. Probably one more, because that's like, if I'm doing it, it might as well think a little more. Think a little more and I'm gonna have it like a snake. Uh-oh. Um, the size of a softball. Okay, well, I will go bigger. Can I have a little bit of, um, what is it called? I don't know, Jack. Um, uh, I'm going to get it to show you. Oh my goodness, son. Okay. All right, I tap that. Roll it like taffy and swirl it on the lid. That sounds easy. Um, can I have a little bit of sunflower seeds? Yes, you can have that. All right. That's perfect. You can't even tell. All right. All right, so I'll add another one. Roll it like a snake and swirl it. I know, I liked how, um, I saw how she was doing that little twisty thing, but this guy's head's all, all smooth. Like he's not all twisty. And I even found the cherry. So I did a cup swap and, um, in the Misfit Makers group uh, a while back and someone sent me a bunch of cherries. And it was funny because I was like, what am I gonna do with the cherry? And then I saw this and I was like, oh, I need that cherry. I knew I wanted to use it. I was just like, what do I do? What do I do? Roll it like a snake and swirl it like soft serve. That's a good idea. I want it to look like the lid though, like the guy's head, a softball. A softball and I want it to be bigger. <laughs> you know how big this thing is gonna be by the time I'm done with it? I have this big old mess. How long do I have to work with this stuff? Anybody that's used this, what's my, what's my time? Like at what point am I like, uh-oh, that didn't go as planned. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking too. I like it smooth. Yes, Jack. Okay, just put it on the table and we'll close it in a little bit. Okay, so, and I want it to go over. I want it to go over the, the sides a little. Man, I wish I had something dome shaped to like give me a perfect little, oh, the straw. <laughs> Y'all are probably like, what is wrong with you? Like, what, seriously, what is wrong with you? I'm from um, New Orleans. I'm right outside of New Orleans. Uh, straw. A small bowl, oh, yes! Can you bring me a small bowl, like the metal one? See? Uh, just one of, the, I don't know, I don't know how to say this, Jack. A metal bowl, uh, any bowl, a bowl, a gray bowl. This is gonna have paint and sprinkles, so. I think I can paint this when it's wet, guys. Well, not wet, it's not really wet. Okay, a different bowl. <laughs> That's what smells we have. Okay, then get me um, the gray bowl, a gray bowl, please. The gray bowl? Yes, the gray bowl. <laughs> any bowl, just, I'm like, any bowl, just bring me any bowl. Okay, no, but not that one. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull some of these lower so that it looks like it's kind of dripping this way too. That would also help play off that whole lid thing. Is this gonna adhere to my lid? What we got, guys? Like, am I doing this off or not? Like, is this thing gonna super glue? I'm gonna super glue it to my lid. All right, so we're gonna pull this down. Now see, if I was smart, oh, I wanna go wash this off. Oh my gosh, I wanna go wash this off. What if I ran and washed off this paint real quick, put this on there, and then I did the drip with the lid on there so it, it made sense. It made sense, everything matched. I think I like that. I'm sure I can. I'm sure I can, but I grabbed this um, this purple paint. I was gonna paint it. Guys, I think I'm gonna take a minute and I'm gonna go wash off this drip that I did. That way um, I can drop this and it can match. Like it can actually drip all the way down and match. No, I'm gonna put the paint back on it. 
I'm gonna put the paint back on it, but that way when it's dripping down, it's also like the drips match all the way down. Oh man, I wanna do that so bad now. Okay. Might need opinions here, what do I do? I'm about ready to go see. <laughs> I would about, I'd, I'm about ready to go wash that off. All right, let's see. That's what I was thinking too. I probably will. I'll probably have to remove the topper to get it to um, really go on there. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. Taking this thing to the sink. Let me see. Just do it all on here. I think that if I get it to where it kind of covers right there. Um, I don't know because that's how it happened in my head, Miss Susan. I'm sure I could make it ma match without removing it. Um, <laughs> I mean, Laura, sorry. I think I, I mean, I think it, it would remove like this. Even if this top pops off, like even if this pops off, um, it needs to be adhered better onto the tumbler. So I'm okay with the thought that I'm putting this guy on here, then putting this little dome on here, and it may not stay perfect. Okay, we're gonna do it just like this. You know, we're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with this. I wanna try to smush that down a little more so that a lot of that lid isn't showing. I'm gonna have this cup set where I won't be able to touch it tonight now. I'll leave it around the mouth though. Where's my straw? I think he's gonna be cute. You can match it without removing your drip. <laughs> See, the ways that we doubt ourselves when we're like working alone in our heads. The way that I doubt myself when I'm working <laughs> alone in my head. I've never made one either. This is my first topper. This is my first topper. Okay, so I think my idea is to paint it. And since, um, I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to try it. We're going to try to paint this and see what happens. Um, I mean, it's just dollar store stuff, so it's okay if we have to kind of go again. Huh, I wonder if I should use, <laughs> it looks like he has a little buzz cut. I should leave him like that. <laughs> what a mess. I think I'm going to pull out that other paint that I have because I know it has a bit more pigment in it. I'm going to do that. This looks hilarious. This is like a horrible little haircut. Watch that, pa I don't read directions, y'all. Watch that packaging have directions like applying any liquid or paint before it dries or forms. We'll mess it up. Oh my gosh. It needs sprinkles because if not, it just looks like a comb over. I could almost give this guy a comb over. Oh my gosh, how funny would it be to just do like a really horrible comb over tumbler? Hi. Yes, I'm on right now. <laughs> Meacham, the, um, I don't know, one of them, one of the kids in line just walked in from football and he just looked at this tumbler like, what are you doing? All right, so I am going through 
and I'm putting paint. This is hilarious. Oh my goodness, this looks so funny. Okay, well hopefully this plays off. I'm kind of getting into some of the um, puff paint at the bottom right now, and I can see it pulling up, and I'm kind of tapping on it, but I'm gonna put some more. Uh-oh, think so? You're probably right. You're probably right, I probably should have let it dry. However, um, I have zero patience, so. Um, what? You're making fun of me, Meacham? Zero patience. Probably should have let it dry first. That's all right. Um, it's gonna get glitter. And one of my things with doing this was so that I can put the glitter on it today. Oh, a cherry. Gotta do a little cherry too. I should probably dent that in. The good thing about this is that if it doesn't stick to it, um, and I can always go through and work out this paint and get it a lot better on next time around. I mean, for my first topper, not hating it, so we're good. Thanks, Jack. Oh, I like that. Thanks, Jack. You need to get in bed soon, bud. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm trying to see. I mean, I know I can go back and still paint this thing. I just want to get some of this on. I'm not hating them. What do you guys think? They're kind of weird. Still does a job. I mean, <laughs> not a... Not an artist here. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put this one. How do I want this to look? This I think will be the tricky part. Just putting this on and seeing. It's not gonna stay in a big swirl. Um, I'm gonna see about kind of getting it. See, I feel like I would just use a whole bottle right now. want some of these to go that way as they fall they will still drip and then I think I'm gonna just see how much I can get in here that's what I was thinking too the sprinkles and glitter will kind of make it it should close thank you I'm um, just on the table over there I think this I think the same thing the sprinkles and glitter will definitely make it and hide some of the stuff that um, I may not feel perfect about what? Do you need any of them for now? Uh, no. Any of the boys? No. No. Gloves. Oh, no. I don't need the gloves. I completely ran out of gloves today, y'all. Like, I had zero gloves. Like, could not set, um, any tumblers because I had zero gloves. And I ran out, like, earlier in the day, so I took a minute to go through my list. Okay, I'm going to, I think, wipe off my paintbrush because I don't want it to be too gloopy on there. Like I said, I know it's still going to dry. I can still adhere all the stuff to it. That little mess. Oh, messy. All right, and then I want some, well, I can't really have the drips go down. Never mind, because I was going to say I wanted some of these drips to go down, but at the same point, um, I cannot do that because the lid's going to have to go off and on and it will break. So totally fine if it overlaps around the top of the lid, it can't really hang down. I feel like that's gotta be a way to die. I know, that um, that was one of the things we kind of thought of, but I don't know. I, um, I get my gloves from Costco and I really, really like them. And I don't know, I'm weird. When I find something I like, um, I, I, I'm weird. I'm weird, it's really hard to get me to do anything else. Um, no, not on the West Bank. Um, I'm, uh, I'm in Mandeville. All right, we're going to do some more sprinkles. The good thing about this is I don't know how to redo this topper if it doesn't, um, I mean, the second one will come out better, right? That's what I was thinking. I was thinking about smushing that cherry in last. Woo! Or throwing it at the cup right now. <laughs> Either way. Either way. Throw it at the cup right now. Or um, kind of smush it in there last. I figured I would have to go through and, um, and glue them on anyway. 
but just to kind of get an idea of where he's going to go. I don't even know what the gloves are. Gary um, handles all that stuff. I run out and I'm like, babe, I'm out of gloves. And he's like, okay. Okay, what? I got one pack of these um, sprinkles. Let's see, this is where I'm going to try not to be crazy and try not to get them exact. It does look like a snowball, huh? A little spooky snowball. All right. And then we need to glitter it. I like, seriously cannot believe I'm making this. This is, um, I find this very funny. Just for the sake that I hate Halloween and I'm not like a, um, like, a, uh, how do I say this? Like, isn't really one of the designs that I would really, really be into, but I'm, like, I love it. I completely love it. I'm excited about it. All right. I feel like he's heavy. I ordered some of the, um, some of the foam that Rachel was using the other day in her live, so I'm interested to see how that will work. Maybe I'll use that for the second one to see which one I like the most. How am I going to do this without glitter falling in the hole? All right, get this on while the stuff is still wet. Let me get this. I, um, man, I'm excited to see how this is all going to be when it's done. I just realized the challenge of how am I going to do epoxy? Look how cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I just realized how am I going to epoxy this whole top thing? Um, this should be fun. I guess taking it off will be the key. Taking it off and doing it. Oh my goodness. I'm proud of me. Yay. <laughs> Yay me! Oh, it's actually cute. See, I'm telling you, not that big of a Halloween person, but this guy, I can do with this guy. All right, let's figure out this little guy. How does he look? Okay, on the guy, he's like, he's like a pink cherry too. Do I want to? Do I want to paint this? It's too red. It's too red. I'm going to figure out where it's going to go right now. And then um, tomorrow I will debate on painting it because the cherry on here, it isn't red. I know it doesn't have to be perfect, but I don't know. How do I do this? Do I just smush it in? I feel like I need someone to tell me what to do here. Do not come up. Stay. Stay. I'm afraid it's going to be like whoop, whoop, and pop it right back out. Look how cute. Okay. I need, let me grab a paintbrush. Hold on, guys. I need to get um, a dry brush because I really want to see what it looks like with all that other glitter knocked off. Oh, my goodness. The sparkle. The silver that this, um, that Wisteria has in it is so cute. Okay, I want to get this glitter off of his face. I need to be careful not to touch. I need to be careful not to touch uh, the glue. I need that puff paint. I'll turn towards you guys as I wipe them off. Just gonna wipe off enough so we can see the design. Look how, look what I did. <laughs> um, I'm really proud of him. Tell you what, toppers are not scary. I'm gonna turn into the weird topper chick. That sounds weird. Sorry, <laughs> that sounds weird. The glitters that come in the pack are Wisteria and Skullcap. It is um, this really pretty purple, um, 
it's like a lavender silver maybe it's super super pretty um oh wait i'm grabbing my oil and um skull cap is blue it's like this baby blue silver in it uh really really pretty and then it comes with the sticky sheet that's at the bottom um the puff paint and the sprinkles the purple vinyl for his eyes um purple vinyl sticky sheet sprinkles paint glitter glitter yes wisterian skull cap i um thanks i'm definitely happy with it i did uh, um what I do the other day and I was trying to like lightly dust off glitter and I ended up going outside with my husband's compressor and I was just like, Psh. yes, I had a feeling usually when they're from a collection, it'll say it. Oh, it does say that. Oh my goodness. It does say it. It says on their botanicals collection. I just didn't read it. Okay. Obviously not all wiped off with the, um, it's like, I can feel it, man. This is so cute. I'm happy. I'm super happy with this one. Um, I love it. Which tool? The um, the rotary tool. I can feel like uh, Tacket on my tumbler. We use Tacket. The pack does not come with a Tacket, and it doesn't come with that rotary tool. Um, that rotary tool is awesome, though. That's how we put our sticky sheet on and trimmed out our little drips. I can't quite explain how excited I am for this one. I definitely need to go through and touch up some um, some paint with this, but I don't want to do it too much while it's on here. I'll wait for tomorrow and go back and really touch it up. Thanks, you're so sweet. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Jazz. All right, how easy was that? Look, we did this whole cup tumbler, um, this whole tumbler, topper, drip, well, I mean, kind of did this all in an hour and a half. Um, <laughs> I guess it doesn't quite count when you have to like count a day, right? So there we go. This is what it looks like before um, when it with the, just that sticky sheet and glitter, and this is um, everything kind of hanging out on it. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. I love it too. I'm really happy. Like I said, when I saw that sticky sheet, the minute I saw the sticky sheet and the little skull on it, um, I was immediately like, I have to. Yes, it's going to get epoxy. Um, I don't know how. I don't know how yet. So I figured what I'll do, let this dry completely, and then I'm going to see if I can pop this top off. Um, if it does, perfect. That's exactly what I want it to do without the lid. I want it to come off. That way I can take it, set it aside, epoxy it, and then figure out how to um, how to get it on here. I think everybody's using um, magnets, so I will be buying magnets. I know, right? I did. I completely jumped out of my comfort zone, like all the way around, like style. Um, really, I feel like I went big on this design and I'm happy with it. And my lid fits, my straw fits, right? Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Upside down, but you know, I need a lid. I need a straw. I need a really cute straw. <gasps> Sprinkles. I need a sprinkled straw. Okay. I saw them somewhere. All right, I'm gonna find out where to buy Sprinkles straw from because that would make it just perfect. Um, and that's it, guys. Oh, that's right, UV resin. I can do that. A couple of days, let it dry for a couple of days. I need to see these comments. I'll probably do that. Better safe than sorry. I mean, I do not wanna go through and mess this up. I do need to lay down these sprinkles though because there's a few that are like coming off at me. All right. I know, that's what I keep, used to be playing with it, huh? I need to leave it alone. I need to leave it alone. Um, I will read directions. Probably won't read directions. I'll put this up and I won't touch it for a little bit. Um, make sure this dries completely. Like I said, guys, I'm super happy with this. Um, I do need to do something with this cherry, which I don't want to take them off yet. I'll um, pop them off tomorrow. And I think I'm going to paint him pink. Um, there's nothing on here that's that bright red, maybe a few sprinkles, but I don't know. I don't think I want him that red. So I might go on and maybe see if I can dip him in some... Um, pink paint that way it's more of like a like a solid look to it i'll have to check 
Oh, glass coat. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I am. Sorry, guys. Um, Holy cow. I almost forgot. See, and that's where I am with this. Guys, we're giving away a gallon of, um, of glass coat. Oh my goodness. Thank you for saying that. Um, okay, let me pull this stuff up. Y'all are going to have to um, entertain yourself for a second. So, so sorry. Um, and Gary isn't here. Let's see. Reset. Thank goodness you said that. You like the red cherry? I, may, I don't know. May, I don't know. Ugh, I don't know. I can't leave it if I don't like it. Um, I don't know what I'll do. Let's see. I need to delete all this. I'm so sorry, guys. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, so we're doing um, a full gallon set of glass coat. And then, really, really awesome, um, we're not doing it tonight, but Jessica Sanchez, she's one of the moderators in the City Couture Community Group. She um, has some glass coat, full gallon, unopened, and she's, uh, she's donated that, guys. She's donated that so we can do another giveaway. Um, and I need to get things lined up for that. Um, I need to get things lined up for that. Okay, give me a minute. I'm really sorry. I should have someone here. Um, entertaining you guys. I'm so, so sorry. I need to pull up. Let's see. I need to focus. I'm like feeling rushed and I feel like I'm not doing this right. All right. Sippy Couture community. We left this easy. Anybody that just liked, um, or loved that post, we're going to go ahead and do this. All right, show me all. See, the good thing about doing it this way is I could just copy all the names of the people that liked it. Copy. Okay, that was quick. That was quick. We were able to get that um, transfer over really quick. I like doing the easy giveaways where I could just, you know, if you like the post, do it that way. Um, I don't like when they're all complicated, I have to go all over the place, because it's hard. It's hard to make sure. Um, they have the sprinkles. Um, so if you go to their website and if you uh, look up candy, um, you should be able to get some come across if you just look up candies. Okay. Not a lot of people in this one, guys. We have 24 entries, is that right? Yeah, 24 entries. That's pretty good. All right, so we're giving away this full gallon set of Speed Dry Epoxy. Um, you don't have to be present to win, so if the person is not on here, that's okay. I have this up. I will um, pick up my phone and turn this so that you know that I'm being fair. Um, okay, stare at my face while I try to figure out how to turn this around. There we go. Okay. All right, guys, um, you can probably see the names on here. Like I said, 24 names. That's not a lot, which I was surprised because um, I put it on um, on TikTok and I said about the giveaway and then on my YouTube, not YouTube, on the Civic Couture community, I did say go over to um, go check that and see how to get in. So those of you that did, here we go. We're going to go ahead and click it a few times. Don't know if that helps and figure out who the winner is. All right, Renika Bailey. I don't think I saw that name on here today. Okay, is there Renika Bailey on here? I don't think so. I don't see, I know I've been trying to keep up with comments and I didn't see that name come across. But um, like I said, you do not have to be present to win. So we will go ahead and um, message her and then see how we can get this out to her. So congratulations, um, Renika. Thanks so much for joining our Sippy Couture community group. Um, thank, actually, thanks all of you for um doing Civic Couture community and uh, and follow me on here. I really, really love making these tumblers. I love sharing them with you guys. And um, the fact that you guys actually come hang out with me um, is great and I appreciate it. So again, this is, um, well, beside to meet you. This is the tumbler that we have done up for tonight. Um, obviously the straw's upside down, fix that guy later. But this is what we did. So thanks again for coming to hang out. I hope you liked it. Again, the, um, the code for tonight is sippy 
831. S I P P I E 831. So it's today's date. Um, that is on Mr. Nola's Glitters website. It includes pretty much all the supplies we use for this. It does not the tool and the tacket with that discount. Just add it to your cart separately. So, all right, guys, that's it. Um, I have next Wednesday, we will do an unboxing of the Muse box, and I have a really cute tumbler to go with that. So come join us again next Wednesday. But I know tomorrow Rachel should be live, so don't miss hers. Um, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for um, supporting us. Um, Meacham's waving. <laughs> Meacham's, I got to get this kid to bed. Um, all right, guys, I will make sure I keep this post so you can um, catch the replay. If you have any questions in the meantime, come let me know. Um, let me know and I can help you out. So, all right, guys, bye. Have a good night. Thanks again, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye.